Welcome to a shock and awe, useless articulation. It's me, Wilson, joined by Toast. And you wanted to talk to me about... Something. Right. So I'm in, I'm in a bit of a crossroads at the moment. Oh. And I talked to Dan a little bit about this last week, so there's going to be a separate video on another channel. Okay. Um, you, I think, have been here before with... Sort of declaring that you're not <laughs> buying toys anymore. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then you come back to it. Sort of. You've made a declaration recently, and yeah. there's, there's a list of about a half dozen more toys yeah. that you're getting. So, yeah, this is actually, I know I've said it before, but this is like the, let's say, closest I've come to sure. like, yeah, this is actually going to happen. And I've said from the from the beginning, since... So since the Transformers, Iron Factory, third party Lyle Kaiser guys were announced, I'm like, those are gonna be it. Like once those have all come out, that's when I stop buying toys. Now, that doesn't mean from now until when they all come out, oh, I, I won't pre order okay. stuff. I will still pre order stuff. So stuff may come yeah. after they've all come out, like yeah, yeah. Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But Pre-ordering everything stops once Lyle Kaiser is out because of room space. Room mainly space, yeah. not because I don't enjoy it and stuff. I mean, it's just I don't have the space for it, it, everything I've got now. I don't. Have, really. Some of your stuff you've given to kids before, yes, but nothing ever leaves the house. Uh, well, that stuff has left the house. Some you've given it. me a bag of stuff yeah. before. Yeah, it just. Uh, but not on like a large scale. Not on a huge scale. Yeah, I mean, just my Transformers collection alone is out of control. Like, I've only been putting up Transformers, and I'm in GI Joe, GI Joe stuff, and I'm like, yeah, it's just I still have shelves of just guys just piled in a pile. Oh, that's nice. And I'm going through, and then I'm like putting them up. So I'm going from one shelf to another, slowly having them all stand up. My my Transformers movie shelves, it's like four or five shelves of that shit. There's <laughs> not even that many characters. So how many of those are duplicates? Duplicates. Well, some, uh, well, some's like, and... some are like the Masterpiece size, and then I also have the Studio Series. There's a few Shockwaves in there, and then, yeah, I had to get a couple Shockwaves. Yeah. So there's some duplicates. A couple of Megatron. More than a couple. So I think I think there's a few things going on, and I feel like we could have a similar but very different conversation with Berg. Um, like this year is just kind of a slow-ish year. Yeah. Um, I know he's talked about you know this year's numbers versus last year's in the chat. Yeah. Um, so he's buying less this year, and I think if we have the same conversation with him, I think it might be like. Uh, Sort of quality and possibly character selection, but like company, like yeah. company, he's crossing companies off the list. Yeah, he's um, like trying to be done with Super Seven. I know, right? Uh, but but I think he's pretty unhappy with Hasbro too. In some regards, he is. In yeah. others, he's not. Not like yet. The, not... GI Joe hasn't fucked him yet. Duke, but, Duke, but that's right. about it. That's about it. That's yeah. about it. So for me, I think. It's it's a recognition sort of that I've been in this place before of like I'm I'm buying toys that I'm not really enjoying. Yeah. Sergeant Rock. Yeah. Thanks. And and I should probably stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean I had to look at it and I, I mean it's it, I was still like I had to look at it and be like I need to just stop buying stuff that like just cuz it looks cool. Yes. You know. That's a struggle that I go through too. And and, uh, and it's yeah, I still see stuff, but there, if I was still buying toys, I would have so much more stuff probably. But then on the other hand, it's like the third party scene for me has just died pretty much. It has. Except Death Cobra, Death Cobra, and uh, Hunger. I TFC. want that Hunger. It looks. So, Great. Even Abominus, in grayscale. like, I had, I think, 
four out of five of the Abominus figures as a kid, and yeah. I always wanted Hunger yeah. since grade school. Oh, really? Like second, second grade. Yeah. Yeah. I've wanted Hunger since second grade. And I, I got Orton. Yeah. He's nice, but man. That's bigger, I think. He looks, he looks so good. awesome. He looks good. So I might buy one TFC figure. We'll I see. I might be in. It's for been him. so many years since the previous four came out. Like, I don't even know if those are still available or aftermarket prices or what. But no, yeah. But for hunger, I might just get him as standalone. I mean, it, he'd be fine because yeah, his gray prototype looks amazing, and yeah, I was collecting those guys. To display, I think, as either bots or uh, monsters. And then have Orden as the combiner. But I, I think you're right. I think Orden's smaller. I don't think they're... Yeah. I think they're Voyager size, not Masterpiece size. And For sure. The yeah. upgrade with these. I don't know. If he goes up before the Lyle Kaiser guys all come out to pre-order, might be it. Might drop... Probably, he's probably 200 bucks. God damn it. I yeah. mean, probably... Yeah. We don't know what other, like, pieces he comes with. I mean, the shield, obviously, but... He probably comes with the chest. Uh, I know there's a big piece of the combiner gun that yeah. he's got, too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, like, I was I was sick over the weekend, and I my intention, because it was a holiday weekend, I'm like, I've got all this time. I'm going to, like, clean up and bin stuff and, and sort of get... At least get them into the basement, maybe, yeah. if they're not leaving the house. Okay. Like, get them out of the office. Sure. Because it's getting to a point where uh, it's clutter instead of, like, a collection. Yeah. And I don't like being here. <laughs> right. So, uh, I'm trying to buy less. I've canceled a couple of pre-orders. Okay. And this, this Sergeant Rock I'm giving away as soon as the repaint is done. <laughs> um, that's going to go to Berg. And so that'll be out of the house. And I will have, like, done not what I set out to do, which was Spider-Nam, but I will have done something good with it okay. to make it. It's right over there. Yeah. Um, so, like, I'll be happy with the accomplishment, and I'll know that it exists, and, like, it will exist to me in photos from now on. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I did that one day. So I will have gotten something out of it. And it won't be in my house, and I'll be happy. Nice. But I'm in a sort of clean and try to reduce phase of, of toy buying. And maybe that includes food mascots, advertising mascots. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I think... Chester Cheetah. <laughs> Cheeto yeah. Chester, right. whatever the fuck he's called. It's such a... Yeah, I'm sorry. That's just one thing I'll never understand. But yeah, get Tony, man. I'll talk to you about Tony the Tiger. All right. Why not? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, like I, I didn't buy Chester Cheetah, but I'm like, I have this attachment to the character from the stuffed animal from when I was a kid. Like, eh, I hear it's a good figure. Let's just get it. He looked awesome. He honestly is. Yeah. But like, do I need that in my house? No. Not really. No. Yeah, that'll be one of the things we might pick up a couple of years later and be like, why the fuck did I get that? <laughs> Not like Keanu Reeves, but why did I buy the 2077 Cyberpunk? Oh. Cyberpunk 2077 figure where he comes with a duffel bag and a gun. Oh my God. I know I have that figure. Did I... you play the game? Nope. Oh, well. Nope. Mm. <laughs> I got some of those 2077 because I could use the parts as fodder in other sure. customs. That makes sense. I'm down for that. I don't know why I bought it. I <clears> probably <throat> just wanted something. It makes time. sense if I have a custom, like a specific custom in mind that I'm making. Oh, I see. Not, which I've also done, buy it somewhat aspirationally as like, hey, I might need that someday. Oh. And then it never, that day now comes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's some of what I'm trying to bid up too is is like projects that never started and like some of the the 
like so many of my McFarlane pieces because they're McFarlane figures because they're so easy to dismantle yeah. are just in piles. Oh. And so I have <laughs> I have this small pile of like the shoulder inserts and I'm like, I don't even know who these belong to anymore. Oh, okay. They're just like different shades of black and gray and I'm like, can I even match these to who they're supposed to be a part of? Like it's it's a problem. So cleaning and trying to buy less is where I'm at right now. Hmm. Uh, I hope I hope you're able to hold to stick to it. I think I'm gonna be. Or if not, if you start buying again, then it's for a good reason. Hopefully, I'll have cleared space out, and yeah, like. But like I said, it'll only be like one or two things. I just I've gotten to the point where I almost gotten to the point where I, like I just stopped looking, and I like. I'm looking for a while, and that way I don't entice myself and everything like that. I left one of the the Facebook groups because, like, that was just constant advertising, essentially. Yeah. Of like, hey, there's this thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's on the coast, and maybe I'll see it here. Yeah. That's always a problem. So, anyway, I I hope something good happens for both of us. Let's hope. I. Still think this might be a similar conversation that we revisit okay. with Berg. Nice. But uh, I think he would have a very different take on it. Probably. <laughs> He's never going to stop. He'll reduce. Maybe. But for different reasons. Yeah. Frustration. F this company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also entirely valid. Yep. So let us know in the comments below what you think. Have you stopped or your buying habits changing for any reasons? Let us know. Like and subscribe. And uh, thank you, as always, for watching.